Scorpio boo. How you doing? Hey, all right. I'm getting better at this. <laughs> it's me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you a weekly tarot reading, I think. Could be a bonus depending on the reading, but let's just call it, call it a weekly tarot reading. Let's see what God has for you, Scorpio. Dear God, please bless Scorpio with some nuggets of wisdom. What do we have? Let the cosmic shenanigans begin. Ooh. See what I'm saying, God, all the time, all the time, all the time. Scorpio, <gasps> Scorpio, do I, do we want another one? No, angels are saying no. <gasps> yes, Scorpio. And I've been looking at these cards. I love these cards. The Tower of Dreams. Scorpio. Oh, baby. All right, I'm channeling, babies. Just be patient with me. Y'all want me to channel. Y'all don't want me to just sit here and be making shit up and pulling shit out the sky. Oh, I love you, God. Yes, baby. Queen of Cups. Look at the queen, Scorpio. Oh. All right, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Five of Swords. <laughs> I needed some bullshit in my coffee, right? Like, <laughs> we can have like a stellar reading. We had to bring a little bit of the drama. But again, I don't know its context right now. So it could be a good five of swords. I'm just saying. <laughs> Scorpio, you are slowly but surely getting what it is that you want and or desire. I'm being told to tell you to be patient. Your time is coming. Your time to shine is coming. Didn't I see the star card? I surely did. You have a dream that's about to materialize like quick, fast, and in a hurry. Okay. Um, so angels are saying to me, you're right there. I mean, y'all can see the, the finish line. Okay. You see the F, you see the I, Scorpio, stop paying attention. Keep going. Right. In other words, don't allow yourself to become distracted. Keep going. A lot of you guys have been really, really patient. Chilling even, almost even. You're very focused and determined right now. Scorpio, your belief is at an all-time high is what I'm hearing with this justice and the uh, knight of coins. I'm also hearing, it's not even called belief to a Scorpio. It's a knowing. Because y'all know y'all psychic is, right? It's a knowing. Scorpio, you know you're destined for greatness. And just as I said that, I really wanted to dial it and reel it back in because I'm like, Scorpio is already great, but it's, <laughs> I just heard it's just now life has to catch up, right? Like Scorpio has been there for a while. We just now need life to catch up. Seven of Pentacles and a Queen of Cups. You guys have an amazing idea that you're working on. Not only that, but I feel like it's going to be a huge contribution to the world. And Scorpio, I do need to tell you this. I don't care if you're helping three people. That's enough, right? You don't, you know, helping people shouldn't be like going to Walmart, right? You shouldn't be able to just pull a solution off the shelf and be like, okay, next. No, no. Okay. So I do kind of feel like whatever it is that you guys are working on is a labor of love. I mean, you got pentacle and you got the queen of pentacles again. That queen of pentacles love you, Scorpio. I mean, technically you got three Queens here. Okay. And the star card, like, come on, Scorpio. If this reading doesn't tell you that you've arrived, y'all ever notice not with this deck, but in this deck, the Queens are chilling. Like everybody who's in a position of power, they're freaking chilling. Okay. So Scorpio in your power. Yeah. You're here with that seven of pentacles, figuring out what pentacles we going to pluck and plant and then grow a new tree. So not only that, but with this queen of cups, it has to mean something to you, right? You can't just sit down at the drawing board and be like, okay, I want to make a million dollars. Universe going to smack you upside the head because ain't no such thing as a million dollars in the universe, right? Now, if you sat down, it's like, okay, well, I want to help the homeless or I want to help abandoned dogs or I want to help like abused women. 
Then the universe is like, okay, Scorpio, here's what you need to do first. And this is what we're going to do. Say, right? So your heart has to be in planning and whatever it is that you are creating for yourself, excuse me, you're creating for the world first and then yourself. Excuse me. You got the uh, queen of swords. A lot of y'all right now, this lovers, look, baby, she is, she is prepared to slice them apart. Okay. A lot of y'all right now, look, I'm babe, I ain't got no time for love. I'm also hearing if I don't already know you, no time, no time. No, you can't, you, I don't have a name. Scorpio, stop. Yeah, a lot of you guys right now, um, you're not allowing love and relationships to distract you. And Scorpio, bravo. Okay, you guys are so focused and so determined on building your financial em empires. Go ahead, Scorpio. <laughs> Remember I told y'all I didn't know what the context was going to be here. <laughs> And I'm laughing because the universe is like, oh, okay, that's what you think is going to happen. <laughs> the universe is like, oh, okay, that's what you think, uh, how this story is going to play out. So you think that you're just going to be able to continue to fall in love with whatever it is that you do and not attract a mate or a partner. I'm also being to told, I'm also being told to tell you too, I mean, because you got the lovers here card twice, right? And Scorpio, you are hell bent on again. It's like, uh, uh, no, no. But I'm being told to tell you that you can also attract a business partner, right? Somebody who loves doing the same thing you're doing. Okay. Not only that, but yeah, I'm sorry. I got to flip it back to the relationship too. I feel like the more that y'all try to resist it, come on, queen, her majesty, if you don't mind, Right. The mo look at, look at, she focused. She like, where he at with them damn five, five of swords? Don't bring your ass over here. Look, I'm waiting. You got five. I only need one, right? Y'all are def guarded because again, y'all ain't trying to let love in. Okay. But if you look at these cards, the universe put the cards, the lover's cards out. If I can get them situated, the universe put the love lover's card out. So that just says to me, Scorpio, with full respect for you, because y'all know I'm a lover of Scorpios. Y'all may wind up meeting your soulmate, partner, next husband, next wife, life partner. While you're making your money, they could be a client. They could be a loan officer. They could be a mentor. Right. You have and you see how I'm like my tone drop because I got to bring I got to bring the bad news in in a very calm way for you, Scorpio. I know. And and here's what I'm saying. We didn't know the context, but the five of swords, this is you, Scorpio. It's like, no, Alex, I'm not. No. Mm -mm. And the universe is like, mm, OK. All right, Scorpio. <laughs> right. Scorpio, do not provoke the universe, please. All y'all have to do. Right. Because whatever you resist persists. So if you're like, mm-mm, 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 universe is like, uh-huh. <laughs> so the only thing that you have to do, which literally you should be doing every day of your whole entire life is remain, remaining open. A way to respond to the universe, even though you're not interested in love right now, is to just be like, okay, I accept that, right? And leave it there. You got to be careful about pushing away that energy and being defeatist and, and, you know, you know, kind of basically resisting and shoving things back and, you know, kind of turning down the universe. You got to be careful about that because you don't want to build a business with that energy lingering around your business, especially that energy coming from you, you creating it, right? So Scorpio, yes, the monkey wrench in a whole damn reading. This right here is the, is the best card of the reading. Okay. Cause this card says here, Scorpio, baby, manage your energy. Be careful about what it is that you're discarding or trying to throw away or trying to purposely stay away from. 
because the universe is always playing follow the leader. So if this is what you're giving the universe to follow, the universe will give you this back karmically. Okay. Scorpio's like, "Mm, okay, Alex, like, but, but what I'm saying is, and then y'all start, y'all will start to, and I love this when it happens in my readings, y'all will say the same thing in a nicer way, right? Okay. But Alex, I really just want to focus on all my, I want to focus on my business. I mean, love is okay, but at least for right now, I need to be Scorpio. The universe don't give two fucks. Okay. It does not. So I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. She shoots back. Right. But I'm just here saying to you that you are going to attract You're you're in a position to attract. So you are attracting prosperity now, right? It's on a slow roll and Scorpio It's universally bound. It's going to happen. Right? So since you are attracting the universe is like, okay, well here, here, you not only that, but what I'm also getting to is that I feel like this person is already around you. That was a late development. This person's already around you, Scorpio, by the way. Um, I'm also being told to tell you too, you could have already rejected them one time. Okay. Not only that, but whomever this is, they're persistent as hell. Cause Scorpio is like, <laughs> you ever notice like you go somewhere and you, somebody is like following you on the low, low, and then you figure it out and you start moving. You're like, let me move over here. Then you turn around and it's like, bam, they right there. <laughs> Scorpio don't move again. Right. Just kind of stay there and be like, what? <laughs> like, Hey, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Scorpio. I love y'all so much. I love a Scorpio so much. Um, not only that, but look, you got the queen of pentacles and the knight of cups, right? As soon as you, you get your bag and you take your position, whatever this money is that's coming to you, Scorpio, right? And you've reached that level of status, right? That status. Here comes the Knight of Cups, right? So it's almost like whatever it is that you're trying to avoid and push back, you're just creating a backlog, right? You're just, it's just building up. So eventually it has to kind of quote unquote bust. Scorpio, get your damn mind out the gutter. Okay, I will if you will. Anyway, um, once you achieve whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, Scorpio, love is coming in uh, right after or during. Like I said, a lot of you guys, you probably already met this person. You probably done stared them in the eye at least one time. It's so funny because I just looked at that and I'm like, that Scorpio with the stink eye. Don't you bring your ass over here, Scorpio. Stop trying to fight the universe. You're not going to win. You're good. Don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, good luck with that. Now I'm saving the best for absolute last. Eight of Wands and a Star card. Your hopes, your dreams, your desires, babies. My solar plexus is, is just chilling right now. It just completely relaxed, right? As soon as I looked at this star card and I love these cards, I really do. I don't use them too often because I'm trying to preserve them like I'm broken, poor and can't get more. Anyway, uh, when I looked at this star card, everything in my whole existence just calmed down. Right. Whatever it is that you're wishing for, you're hoping for, you're desiring for. Again, as long as you keep this bullshit mentality under control, baby, that shit is going to beat you upside the head ridiculously Scorpio you know you've been getting the eight of wands you know what the eight of wands is August okay eight of wands represents the universe throwing up good fortune on you anything you wanted and wished for as a sidebar uh me and a friend of mine uh I basically said to him hey we need to create like these manifestation journals Cause I felt intuitively that I just needed to start manifesting not only that, but writing and documenting them. So when the universe comes in and throws them up, I can go back and be like, okay, that's this one. All right. That's this one. Notice I didn't say checking them off. Cause I don't need to monitor God or the universe. I already know his goodness. Okay. But I want to be able to see, you know, Hey, okay. That's the BMW 435. I've won it. 
And I really want that car, by the way. But anyway, <laughs> look, I just manifest, you know, I just launched. All right. Don't hate Scorpio. Who's under here? Because I'm nosy as mm, Scorpio death card. Mm -hmm. You got to clear the path for it. You got to clear again. You got to clear the cash, baby. You got to get rid of this bullshit. You got to get rid of the doubt and the self-sabotage and, and the resistance and the, you know, um, angels just said to me, what are you guys trying to say? Like checking up on the universe. Like you still there. We still on track, right? Mm -mm. You got to check this, please, Scorpio, baby, baby, please. Right. Um, with the death card there, that kind of says to me, baby, it's on and popping. This is transformation, which again says to me, y'all have been beautiful, wonderful, faithful servants. Okay. Because as we, right, tribe, we've all been on this journey together. So we first had to heal ourselves. Then we had to clear some bullshit people out of our lives. Then we had to change our pattern, change our behavior. Then we had to reconcile and get rid of our fear. Then we had to start building our empire. Okay. Well, Scorpio chapter completed, right? Now that we've gotten that done, the star card. Universe is going to rain down everything that you wanted and needed, Scorpio. So for this reading, Scorpio, the, your lesson is, or your homework is, start writing down what it is that you want. Ladies and gentlemen, short is sweeter. Okay. Don't write a book and, you know, I want to have like gold leather interior and the air conditioning has to whistle when it blows and I have to feel like I'm in Canada. Mm-mm-mm-mm. BMW 435. Thanks. Short and sweet. That is the key to all of this, Scorpio, because the longer you make it, the longer you're like, am I really going to be able to get this? And the universe will be like, ah, you're killing me, Scorpio. Stop. Right? So ladies and gentlemen, your homework assignment is just start writing down what you want. And again, the thing that I told my friend is, it has to, number one, be reasonable. I didn't mention that to him, but the, number one, it has to be reasonable, right? You can't be like, okay, I want to go to Jupiter next month. Universe will be like, bitch, really? <laughs> it, it was coming in at some point, but it has to be reasonable. Um, you know, yeah, I want a new car or yeah, you know what? And, and the other thing is it's reasonable and it can be minor. You know what I mean? There's a goddamn squirrel in my attic and I'm tired of that bitch. <laughs> Check the negative energy, right? Flip it and make it positive. And oh yeah, by the way, can you let that squirrel find a new home? Because mine is preoccupied, right? Like mine is already occupied. Always flip those negatives into positive because again, you're transmitting that. You don't want to transmit negative energy. But start a manifestation journal, right? And make sure whatever it is that you're attempting to manifest is short and sweet and reasonable. Okay. Um, and I feel like the universe, first of all, I'm being told to tell you guys too, that whatever it is that you're already looking for and wanting, again, the key here is you have to check this energy. That's what I always tell my clients as well. Don't ask for shit, but you not change your behavior and then be mad because you don't get it. Scorpio, you have to, ch you gotta, you gotta sacrifice something. The universe some needs something that's near and dear to your heart that you got to give up as part of receiving all of these, these universal blessings. Okay. I got to get out of here because y'all can't have another 30 minute reading. Y'all know YouTube be hating. It take me fucking six hours to load a Scorpio reading. I'm like devil. Mm -mm, not today. I got six hours for my Scorpios. Ooh, forgiveness. Nice. Again, pointing back to the five of swords, like think, think about something. If you are so hell bent or not wanting to be in a relationship, there is some core energy there that is a part of that resistance, right? So forgiveness, it just kind of feels like for some of you guys, there's an opportunity here for you to clear away some residual healing that you have not yet gotten to. And if I pull this card out, this is a fucking amazing ass reading. That's an amazing reading, Scorpio, right? Because here's the thing, even with the Queen of Swords, baby, that's your protection right there. That's your big sister talking about leave my little sister alone, 
Okay. She's the one who is protecting your heart and making sure that, yeah, it better be my equal and better half. Don't you bring no damn knight up in here or some page up in here. Okay. You see that the lovers is sitting right in between the two queens, right? So yeah, you're on guard. Hopefully you'll remain open as you are working on your bag, Scorpio. And it's coming quick. The other thing, these little gems, queen of cups with the lovers, you have some really freaking significant cards on this table related to love. Not only that, but you got the knight of cups here. Here, that's the movement. That's the giddy up charge. We're heading to Scorpio's house. I call shotgun, right? Like you have um, love that's coming to you. And what I just heard too, <laughs> as I was cracking that dumbass there joke, the love may come in quicker as the money is on, is on its way. Because right now, Scorpio, I know you guys are planning. I know y'all are working on your empire. I know that. And a lot of you guys, what, wanted a bunch of financial readings and that's all you've been getting these last couple of rounds, okay? But the universe had gone and sneak his ass in there. Like, okay, Scorpio, but um, when you on your way to the bank, I'm just saying, make sure you brush your teeth. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I can't with myself. All right. <laughs> I can't. Oh, my God. The situation will improve. Say it with me, Scorpio. The universe got your back. It most certainly does. Shoo, I know I do. Shoo. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Oh, two. See what I'm saying? Compromise and reconsider. Mm-hmm. And, and I picked it up and put it back down before I plucked those two cards. Compromise and reconsider your position, right? What is it that you're telling yourself about love and relations, relationships and connection? Because here's the other thing too, and this is a really powerful message that's about to come up. Whatever it is that you're working on, you are going to want to connect to a client or customer base. How the hell are you going to do that when energetically you're trying to prevent emotional connections? How are you going to do that? How are you going to have customers when you don't want to deal with a lover, right? It's almost like, Again, remember I said to you, the universe doesn't work like that. The universe is not like, okay, well, we'll just bring Scorpio, just a bunch of customers, but make sure none of, none of those customers are not potential lovers, right? Universe does not work like that. The universe is like, all right, we about to release this damn Scorpio, hold your breath, right? And, and that's it. You get what the universe gives you. Scorpio, be careful about what it is you are resisting, turning down, walking away from, or, you know, just downright kind of quote unquote, turning your back on. Moonology, what you got for big scorps? And we gonna get out of here. Boy, God is talking to y'all today. Don't let pride get in your way, Scorpio. Pride, ego, all of that, don't do it. Don't you do it. Universe has something sweet coming for you. And ladies and gentlemen, you can go back and look at the last, what, two, three videos. That eight of wands just keeps coming out in your videos. Not only that, but angels just said to me too, the information you're receiving here is a part of that eight of wands as well. Because again, Alex, I was trained by Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is one of my guardian, my guardian angels. Archangel Michael is a warrior of the archangels. Okay. He's the only archangel I was told, and I'm using Chris, Christian terminology and labeling, but he's the only angel that is always by your side and he never sleeps. He's always there. Okay. So I have been trained technically, spiritually by the best Scorpio. So are you. Okay. So this is all of us together in saying, listen, we're strong enough. We can do this. Don't, don't fluster. Don't you dare, you know, sit there and be like, ah, my sword is not sharpened. I can't win this battle today. Y'all better pull out a goddamn butter knife because the universe got your back, Scorpio, and you got the victory anyway. <laughs> Look, you're pissing me. No, I'm just kidding. Surrender to the divine. 
always put God, God first, whoever he is to you, whoever she is, whether it's the universe, even atheists, they just don't believe in a religious God. They believe in something. So whoever something is to you, always put that something first. <laughs> God just said to me, it's like, oh, word, I'm something now. <laughs> God, you are everything. That's it. You are everything. You know how I feel about you. You know we cut up. <laughs> Look, what do you need to release? Yeah, what do you need to release? What are you harboring? What are you kind of masking? You know, what's kind of still buried under there? It's like Scorpio. What you got under your bed? I see it. <laughs> you and your loved ones are safe. Um, you're protected. I mean, shit, you got Queen, Queen B sitting right there talking about, I wish somebody would. I wish somebody would come in here and thinking they're going to derail Scorpio shit. Hmm. Watch. <laughs> I can't. Scorpio, I got to go because I'm having too much fun. Um, if the reading does resonate, go ahead and like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Y'all know y'all are freaking amazing at that. Don't forget your homework. Manifestation journals. Keep it short and sweet and make sure it's reasonable. Okay. Um, also too, I have a surprise coming for you guys soon. Um, I've been invited to, uh, uh, give readings on a radio show. I'm going to post a separate video about that, but this will be your opportunity to call in and ask me questions live and in person. So you get to hear my beautiful radio voice, Scorpio, but just be on the lookout for that. Okay. Um, yes, readings are now open. I do have kind of a backlog. Damn July. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in booking a reading, I'm going to apologize right now for the delay or wait. But um, if you're interested, go ahead and look, uh, search the description box. My contact details are there. Send me an email and we'll set it up. Boo. Scorpio Nation. I love y'all so much. Um, and y'all should know by now Libra's here. Gemini is here. Um, we got Gemini and you got Aquarius. So the stars are aligning for you, Scorpio. I guess it's the lion, uh, portal. And thank you so much. And shout out for the person who actually explained that to me. I still kind of, you know, think it's a normal cosmic event, but anyway, I'm babbling Scorpio. I love you. Bye.